We start with News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding. Ashley, for the first time, early voting sites will be allowed on college campuses, which includes Edward Waters College and UNF. Yes, Jen and Bruce, that is true. With these new additions, there are now 20 early voting locations. You can see the addresses and the times there on the Duval County Supervisor of Elections website. You know, this is possible after a federal judge decided that the schools can be included in this. Now, many of the students we spoke with said they are excited about casting their ballot on campus. If you want to beat the rush on election day, starting today, you can get your chance to cast your ballot early. Students can vote on campus at both Edward Waters College and University of North Florida. Morgan Combs is happy to do it for the first time. I think it's cool. It's the first thing I get to do as an adult that I didn't get to do as a child, so I'm really excited to do that. Morgan's not alone. Thousands of local college students are narrowing down their choices as we speak. Some have followed their favorite candidates on social media and others are getting advice from their peers and doing the research. I'm talking with like my friends and like seeing what I can get from like other like resources and stuff to see who I like best and who like really represents me. And I am told that early voting will be open to the regular public here at the university. Early voters are allowed to park in lot 16, which is right by the Adam Herbert University Center. I am also told that parking will be complimentary for early voters. It's the same story across town at EWC. Students there told us recruiters went out of their way to get students pumped about voting. They would come up to us, I guess, with papers or whatever, be like, you trying to vote, you know, in a charismatic way, and it was pretty cool. Dami Lepidi has voted before and hopes to see other students doing the same for this midterm election. Many people don't even realize the power that we hold as a people, you know, how we all come in and if you vote, you're literally using your power that you already have but a lot of people don't know that they have this power. And here at Edward Waters College, early voting is happening at the Shell Suite Community Resource Center right here on Kings Road. For these students, this is about making sure their voices are heard. And remember, early voting lasts from now through November 4th, just two days before Election Day. For a full list of all that information, just head to our website, newsforjax.com. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Yeah.